Good morning. Good afternoon or good evening. How are you? Good evening. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Your daily crumb help you along your way. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, whatever time this is for you. And welcome to the Daily Crumb with me, Winky Schneepay, with Jackie Quay. Your friendly, a freaky ass, a sweet grass water medicine woman, also Christiana Carr, Chris Carr, superstar. All this beautiful divine being right here. And welcome all you beautiful divine beings right here too. My home grows it with you. Yeah, this is my uh, take two. <laughs> I'll upload the other one. I was moving this over. Trying to do that start where I'm like, okay, we'll get things set up as I sing my little song. And, uh, everything fell over. And, yeah. That's, that's what it's feeling like now. Like, one little thing and everything goes... It was like those dominoes. You hit that one little one and then everything causes this chain reaction happening. So I just feel like, and then, then that's my body feels too, like, oh, I got this mild, you know, happening always, whether it's shaking out the trauma or what's going on here, because I'm feeling better, but there's still, you know, I know that I'll never have no place to go or whatever. It's not going to be like that. I just want to keep my home. I need a team. I need a team. Team, team, team. Somebody knows the marketing and tech stuff, finances and all that. Need a team trying to do my thing. Keep, 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 keep my home. Keep, 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 keep my home. There's lots that got thrown in there and it wasn't part of the plan. I was able to do it on my own. I'd be so much more grown. I don't know. I still swing in and nobody's uh, going into a cleansing. The full time's kind of finished there, you know. Just welled up in tears yesterday, but not, none really spilled out there. Okay, we got affirmation reflection that fell to the floor. So we'll do those ones. Okay, okay, okay. I'm feeling a little whiny. I don't know. <laughs> ah! uh, one of my children home this weekend. going to celebrate. <laughs> Okay, so my last project, I got 22 out of 25, so it looks like my last course is going to be an A, I got straight A to my university course, woo! So I can start that, I got a book out there, multiple streams of income, that's what I've been working on. Mm. I just don't work the same way as everybody else. No, that's all right. I don't even work the same way as myself anymore. Well, can't. I just can't. It's depressing. So try not to think about that. Go slow and steady and get somewhere accomplished instead of trying to go really fast and burn myself out. There's nothing done, and now I've got to rest for three weeks for working three days. I don't know. It's like that. It's not very balanced in that anymore. Body is really saying, like, we've done our hard labor, okay? We've done our time. <laughs> we've done our time. Time to work with the strength of our mind. Ah, oh, I don't know. Our self-respect tracks our choices. Every time we act in harmony with our authentic selves and our heart, we earn our respect. It is that simple. Every choice matters. Dan Coppersmith. Listen to your intuition. You are your own best guide, right? Check in, check up. This one came up not too long ago. It's a 14, which makes up 5. And then 5 plus 3 equals 8. This one's a 53. If you aren't good at loving yourself, you will have a difficult time loving anyone. Since you resent the time and energy you give to another person that you aren't even given to yourself. Barbara DeAngelis. Reflect on a challenging relationship. What did it teach you about yourself? Give thanks for these lessons. They have made you stronger, right? Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm not one to like, okay, let's give the, the, the person or the people that abuse us, let's give them credit for making, they didn't make us stronger. They didn't make you stronger. It's your resilience, your connection with the divine, whatever that is, whatever you call it, doesn't even have to, you know, you, you choose, you choose, you choose, right? We feel the bitter and grow wiser, whatever that is. That didn't make us stronger. We did what we had to do, right? 
Drama causes changes you don't choose. Healing is the changes you do choose. I don't know. Can you read both of those right there like that? Uh, uh. Oh. Stuck. Now I don't want to move this all over. I've got to think of a new thing here. Everything will be switching up soon. Anyways, there needs to be some changes. Anyways, so. Be cleaned up and set up. Right? It's going to be cleaned up and packed up, cleaned up and set up. There we go. We got spirit right here. Illumination and clarity is coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Let's sit quiet. Let those come in. So I know I've been doing the work and I know what I need. I need a divine loving team. Finances, the physical, here, that will come in and say, hey, what is it that you need? Now, I know what you need. This is what I'm going to do for you. Even if it hurts you too. And if you tell me it hurts you, well, then that's just you. I don't know. Excuse me. I mean, seriously, this, it's been twisted. You know, and I guess when you have your own diverse brains and stuff like that, and that, that, that social, I've never gotten all the social things. So it's very gullible. I've worked very hard not to be gullible. You know, I used to be the butt of the jokes and I make myself the butt of the jokes. I don't know. Because then if I'm putting myself there, right? I don't know. Anyways, anyways, anyways. Things clearing out, you know? What's what's the cycles and stuff that's going on in your brain? Those things that, that you're clearing out, right? How have you taught people to treat you and, 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 and accept you and... You know what? And, and then are you loving yourself or are you resenting that time, right? Do you keep going, oh, no, I'm not important. So you put yourself on the back burner. So have you taught others to put you on the back burner? I don't know. What is that? Have you made choices that you respect yourself? Are you going looking at yourself and you're feeling ashamed of yourself for that choice? I don't know. What is that? Because you can, you can change those. What are the challenging relationships teaching you about you? What do they tell you about you? Right? A lot of that, I think, Dr. Phil. I don't know if he started that, whatever, but that's where I remember hearing it from, you know? You are in 100% of every relationship you've ever been in. That's the common denominator in every relationship you've ever been in, is you. Hmm. So, what can we do? How are we bringing those kinds of relationships where we have the cycles of toxic relationships or whatever? Oh, my goodness, I always get these ones. Well, how are we drawing that to us? How are we re reaffirming that belief or whatever that is i don't know okay here we grow we have patience with ourselves and, and have that time take that time to look within take that time for ourselves to get to know you okay how is anybody else going to know you if you don't even know you right how are they going to know you if you don't show you i don't know so let's return to that innocence okay we, we won't be when we grow up why ain't we doing that now i don't know what's up for you Right, that's self-reliance. So we think we're trying to do it all on our own, right? And doesn't work on its own. They work in a team. It's like a one mind, and they can. They don't need the 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 the, the supervisors or bosses over top of them. They can just get to work. They know what they need to do. So we need to return those innocence. We're all we're all born. Look at that innocence and innocence, right? We're all born with a mission here. Mm -hmm. If you're here, you got a mission here. What is that? Add more love and light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be you. Be that original you, fully holy and true. Mm, I don't know. What does all that say to you? But being patient with yourself. Be patient with yourself. Do you have patience with yourself? Do you have patience with others? Do you keep giving of yourself? Mm, prayer in abundance, right? We don't need to give ourselves. We're not self-reliant. We need to tap in with that source, right? And let that source work through us. What is that? 13. One, two, three, four, that would be. We're nurturing that in us. And have we been distracted by everything else? Because we keep giving to others what we need for ourselves. Let's look at that. Are you giving to somebody else? Trying to push on somebody else what it is you actually need? I don't know. What is that for you? Okay, beautiful beings. There, we wrapped that up pretty quick there. Big heart hugs ever. Yes, thank you for being you. Shine your light through in everything you do. Because you know what? This world needs you. Just to be you. Fully, holy, and true. Don't let this world miss out. It's you. All that is you. I'm so glad you're here. And I'm so glad you choose to stay every day. Let's grow, grow, grow. Slow, slow, slow. Make this another wonderful, blessed day. Love you all. Mwah. Thank you.